Hello guys, welcome back for part two of my spring decorating for 2024. I am so stoked to keep decorating and bringing this season to life within my home. In my last video, I shared with you my spring front porch and also entryway styling and I love how that turned out. It is so bright and airy and fresh feeling and it's such a nice welcome into my home. But today we need to make the rest of the house match with that vibe. So we're going to be working in my more formal living room. This room is open with our entryway. So while they function as separate spaces, I do like the decor to kind of play off of each other and have a cohesive vibe throughout this entire space. I'm also going to be decorating my my fireplace and the bookshelf we keep next to it so the mantel place and sharing some ideas for that and then we're going to work in our dining area a little bit and also our family room so we're going to jump right into that like I said starting in my formal living room which is right here behind me I really keep the styling in this space pretty minimal I like it to feel fresh and clean and open because it is the most open part of our entire floor plan in our house and it feels the biggest feel the brightest and I like to keep that vibe so really we're just going to be switching out the textiles in here and then also working on a spring floral arrangement on the coffee table so in this space I really wanted to challenge myself to freshen it up for the spring season by spending very little money, if any at all. I really wanted to try to spend nothing to bring the spring into this space, mainly because I had already purchased a few new pieces for other areas in my home. A few videos back, I shared a spring decor haul and some styling ideas for the new pieces that I picked up. I was shopping very intentionally and styling very intentionally, and nothing that I picked up was for this space in particular but it still spent my entire budget for a spring refresh so that meant that in this space I needed to shop my own home look in my decor closet look at what I already had and find some pieces that would work with the rest of what I had going on without me having to go out and purchase anything additional so in my decor closet I found a couple of things this gorgeous kind of window pane blue and cream colored pillow cover. I think I got this three years ago from Target maybe. I know I've styled them once in this space before, but it's been a while. I honestly forgot that I had these. I love the colors. It's a little difficult to tell on camera, but it is a almost green blue color. But then this ruffle all around feels very feminine and spring-like to me. It just adds that little extra touch to make this feel fun. And that's what I wanted in this space. So I'm just going to swap out the pillow covers on the larger pillows on my couch with this kind of window pane one and use that to freshen up this space instead of going out to buy a brand new pillow cover or pillow set. And then also in my decor closet, I found these smaller accent pillows and it's just a neutral floral pattern. So this works for a lot of seasons. I've styled these a couple of times throughout my house and they're always a favorite every time I pull them out. The color palette is neutral enough that they basically go for any season and complement anything else that I have going on in here. But they also are kind of trending right now. I feel like floral patterns are coming back in and this is just a softer way to participate in that trend. So paired with this window pane pattern and the blue color in here I feel like it does just enough to add a little bit of extra visual interest and I love these patterns together but it also brightens up the space and changes out the mood from that really warm cozy new year vibe that I had going on coming straight out of Christmas decor into something that's more bright and airy and fresh feeling now for this coffee table styling I just want to take away this arrangement with the olive stems that I had here here previously and replace that glass vase with this faceted kind of sandstone looking vase here. I'm going to use these beautiful greenery pieces and then these floral stems that are just absolutely gorgeous. I forgot that I had these. They were packed away in the bottom of my decor closet and then to add a more whimsical gathered vibe I just have these 
wild flowers that are from Hobby Lobby. I have them in a couple of different colors and they're one of my favorite florals to style with. Since we have such a small mantelpiece here, I do want to style it, but I'm gonna keep it really simple. So I've just got this pretty long dough bowl. I found this at Home Goods over a year ago now, and I've just put two packages of some neutral vase filler from Target in here. I used this to style our TV console in our family room once, and then I just kind of packed it away. It's been packed away for over a year. And then for the bookcase, I've gathered a bunch of decor here that I think will work well there with a spring color palette and a lot of different textures. And I'm just going to balance all of this into the shelves so that they look intentional and put together. Okay, so you can see behind me that the view from the fireplace in this bookshelf here leads into our kitchen. So when you walk through our front door, this is what you see. And so I just wanna do something really simple on our dining table. It is an eat-in kitchen, so like you see our dining area right there. And I just wanna do something really simple there that ties in with the rest of this view and just keeps your eye moving through that kind of line of sight when you first walk in through the door. So I'm just going to use a blue toned gray vase that I already have and some gorgeous white flower stems that I found at Home Goods. And I'm gonna create an arrangement right there in the center of the table.
Now this is the view from the other side of our dining area. So straight through there is our entryway in the formal living room and then in here is our family room. This is where we spend most of our time. It serves as a playroom for our children, a TV room for our family to just gather in. And in this doorway we have it kind of framed out with these two ladder shelves here. I love these. I think it was Oh, maybe two spring times ago we purchased these and set them up here and they are some of my favorite pieces of furniture and favorite things to decorate. So the bottom two shelves I always reserve for hidden toy storage. So I put baskets there with toys in them and especially toys that my five-year-old daughter can get to very easily. But then the top three shelves on either side I use to decorate and I decorate year-round but also seasonally and for holidays and I have so much fun playing around with these and I kind of use that same rule of thumb that I did with the bookcase next to the fireplace and that I try to stick to a color palette and then balance them out as much as I can in shape, size, and then also the groupings of items that are on them. Don't you worry, I will be taking this sticker off and filling these frames with family photos. I just haven't had a chance to print them off yet, but I wanted to share the styling here and kind of where my mind was at. So I started with these olive jars on the top because they are a deeper, moodier kind of color palette and I felt like they tied in this darker console here really nicely. But then to keep this space light and bright and spring-like, I added in this gorgeous bright green fern and there is a green tone in that olive jar so it works and complements and keeps your eyes flowing while still brightening up the space and I just set that next to these linen book stack and then down here I put the grouping of photo frames and it can be hard to tell on camera but this is actually a greenish taupey beige color and it's a linen matting so that complemented the linen book stack and also this color palette that we've got going on but now that I've got that all styled I'm just going to balance it out on the other side. To balance out the greenery and brighten up this space over here, I have a larger size of that same bright green faux fern. These were a set that was at Target, I want to say three years ago. I found them at the end of that season on clearance for six and four dollars. So for ten bucks, these are two of my favorite faux plants that I own. And I'm just going to use this to take up the space here on this top shelf. And then next to it, I'm going to use the other frame from that two pack of floral wall art that I used in my entryway. And this way, it kind of marries all of the spaces of my home and creates that cohesive color palette, just kind of using a set in two different spaces. I was shopping at Home Goods the other day and found this gorgeous jug vase and I feel like it's got that deeper tone like the olive jars on the other side but these different textures this is more of like a clay terracotta and this is a glazed ceramic and it's just so beautiful so I'm going to use this on the second shelf to balance out the top shelf on the other side. And then to bring in the wood tones from the photo frames on the other side, I've got this wooden storage box. And on top of it, to kind of tie in all of the gold, the gold photo frame that we've got going on, and the gold photo frame over here, I've got this bingo game. This is from the Hearth and Hand line at Target. And I love all of their board games. Our family plays with them a lot, and they double as decor. So it's kind of functional decor. And then for that third shelf, I've just got a book stack and another plant. Yeah. 